Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a dab painting with some gold and some different blues. I was inspired, I saw kind of a cool looking abstract, it was just like these gold lines in this really dark blue um, painting, and that kind of inspired me to kind of make something like that. So that's what we're going to do today, but I'm just so excited because I got some new paints today. So, the gold I had. But these two blues, this really dark blue and this kind of like navy blue, I guess, um, I just got these today. This one is, I believe this is Old Mill. Yes, and this is Midnight Sun. Yes. So, look at those. They look so nice and undisturbed. Um, then we got some other colors today to, you know, use in the future. We got a kind of a medium gray, a light blue, a, another darkish blue, which I would say this is closer to like a normal blue. Um, then we got a dark red, a light purple, and then this is actually for the house. So, you know, we've got some extra colors. I've got plenty of paint to do videos in the future. So really excited about that. But so let's go ahead and get to today's painting. We're going to throw on our gloves here, you know, because this stuff is a nightmare to clean off your skin. And we will be using corrugated plastic. So we've got that set aside. All right. So. And I got some new paint sticks. I don't know about you, but I like to smell the fresh wood. I like that fresh wood smell. So we're gonna get these nice and stirred. I mean, they were stirred at the paint store, but that was a few hours ago. So we'll probably have to give them a nice good stir. So this gold, this uh, PPG Metallics, it really likes to settle really fast. So it's like, I don't know, it just settles really fast and separates pretty easily so really have to kind of work it back to to usable condition but I still like using it it's just it just separates fast but I don't know if you can see that swirl in there let's see if I can get this closer to you guys it's like a nice little swirl in there um, looks pretty cool anyway let's go ahead and mix these and you'll see that there is some kind of uh, tint in there because I think all paint starts white and then they add the color to it. So that's probably why there's white paint on the edges. So we'll give that a good stir. Make sure that the sides are clean because sometimes the sediment of the paint, like the, I don't know if it's just the paint itself or some kind of sediment for the coloring, likes to settle on the sides. So we'll get this one too. Give these a nice stir and I'm pretty sure that they stir these or put them in one of those machines at the paint store but you know like I said they've they've sat for a few hours so all right so we're good so this actually looks a little more gray than blue it's actually kind of lighter than I thought it was going to be I'm wondering if that's going to be an issue maybe go with this one right here slumber this is a darker one I, I, i'm not saying it's gonna look bad but this isn't exactly the color that i thought it was gonna be see it looks different when you look at the little swatches they look different than when you actually you know use them so i really think that obviously old mill and the gold are gonna look phenomenal together but i think that that one, that one over there might be a little too light so we're gonna use slumber slumber is a it's a dark blue, but it's kind of like a true blue almost, just a little darker. So we're actually going to use that. Actually, that looks lighter than the other one uh, now that it's kind of compared. But you know what? I think that's going to be, I think it's fine. We're going to use these. I'm just going to use these two. This one that I just set down, Slumber, and then Old Mill, and then Gold. We're just going to go ahead and go for it. I'm not going to sit here and open 16 different cans. Um... It'll be fun. Next time, I think I might use gold, black, and this uh, the old mill, just because the old mill I really like that that color. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, the paint on the canvas. We're gonna put it into our little sections here, starting with this blue. It's actually a nice color blue. What seeing it on the paper, it actually looks pretty good. I I kind of like the contrast of this blue. Um, against the paper. So you know what? I think it's probably going to turn out pretty good to be honest with you. So we'll get that and we'll probably get a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and uh, 
XR Golden, get the gold there, there, a little there, and a little there. And I'm thinking we might need just a little bit more blue up in the corner. We'll probably need a little bit more paint, but I don't want to overdo it. So let's go ahead and start. So we're going to take this blue, push it all the way down, and kind of transfer it, and then kind of overlap these colors. And we're just going to start pushing these colors into each other. covering these areas, kind of dipping into the different colors to really kind of push them to mix. Ooh, this, these were some good choices. Um, I can already tell that these colors are kind of nice together. So we're starting to mix a little bit, starting to mix a little too much. And I do kind of want to bring out a little bit of the darkness over here. So I'm just going to put just a little bit there and just a little bit there. And I think that that's probably going to be enough paint. Um, so we're going to try to pull that out and get it into some of these other areas. And we're going to mix that. On there, that's fine. And it is pulling a little bit, but it's kind of pulling off the edge, which is fine. And in one of my last videos, I talked about how uh, when I I really like having the cardboard underneath it because it's it's pushing the paper up, which is kind of nice because then the paint is starting to go off the sides as opposed to in the middle. So it's not pooling as much, which is great. And I don't like having these kind of straight lines here. So we're gonna run over those, and then we'll just fill in some of these gaps here. Looks like we got most of them. So now we'll just check for any gaps of white. There's one. I think a lot of these are pretty good. There's one right there. And there's one there. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Well, actually, we'll artificially put some of the, the gold over here because it's not a whole lot of gold over there. So let's just kind of just, just put a little bit of it just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And there's a little gap right there. Some tiny ones. I think we're about good now, actually. Pretty, pretty satisfied. Oh, skip that little guy. So put a little bit of the dark blue in there. Okay. All right, looks pretty solid. I don't think I see any more gaps that we have to fill in. Nope, cool, cool. All right, so we're done. So this is what the thing looks like, a little corrugated plastic, just so you know. Looks pretty cool with the little design of the waves on there. All right, so we're gonna set that aside, let that soak, and we're gonna pull our paper. And of course, we gotta be careful when we do it, or else it will rip the painting. It's already ripping it a little bit, so we're just gonna pull it off to the side so that even if it rips a little bit, it's still ripping straight. So we're just gonna kind of pull, pull the tape to the side so that even if it rips a little bit, it doesn't, uh, doesn't rip a lot of the paint off. All right. 
Now I do see one little spot I kind of want to touch up, and it's this little spot right here, which just looks a little dry. So we're just going to take a little bit of the color, and we're going to fill that in. I think that's good. The main thing is having white, you know. I don't want a lot of the white on there. up now I have had times where I was taking the tape off and it dipped into the painting and ruined it that's so it's so disheartening <laughs> it's like you have a decent piece and then it's gone in seconds but usually that's because I, I don't go slow enough yeah you can see it's starting to rip it a little bit that's okay okay Okay, continue to pull it to the side, and it's off. All right, cool. So now I'll take all this tape and get it out of here. Set it on the floor because I've already got paint on the ground, so I'll just stick the tape down there so that it'll dry. All right, so our painting is donezo, and it looks pretty good, actually. I, I love this painting. These colors are actually really good. I'm kind of glad we went with that one. But maybe I'll try that one and these two together. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe in the future. So I don't know if you guys can see the colors. I'm going to stand back a little bit just to kind of get a thumbnail. There we go. All right. Let me give you guys a little bit of a close-up just to kind of see we're working with look at these little you know i was just thinking the word that came to mind just now when looking at these little waves and stuff was platelets so it kind of reminds me of like platelets in blood you know what i mean or little continents of color i don't know i just uh, i like it it actually kind of reminds me of like a continent like like patches of the gold or like beaches and then like the the lighter blue is like the light water and the darker areas are like the deeper water. So I don't know. Overall, really happy with this. Love it, actually. <laughs> Good colors. And uh, yeah, really happy. And it's got like a lot of the gold is kind of here in the middle. So that is kind of it kind of pulls your eyes to the center, which is fine. I think it's actually really good because it's it's not overpowering. It is a lot. Yes. However, can you have too much gold? I, I don't know if that's a thing. But anyway, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you guys.